What's going on, everybody? Happy either Sunday or Monday whenever I post this video. But this is going to be a little bit longer video, a little bit different. A little bit different scenery because we're using OBS here. It's kind of starting to get me a little bit fresh into another streaming method type deal uh, with something I plan on pushing here at the end of the year. But today, we're going to talk about plans for myself, an extreme world of uh, cards and stuff through the end of 2022 and what I'm looking at doing through 2023. You know, when am I going to call it quits on the old streaming videos and stuff like that? But before I get into that, just give you guys a little bit of a background on to me. So one, yes, I'm 45 years old. I'm old. I got it and stuff like that. So a lot of this new technology, I didn't ha get to learn it, you know, from like in high school and college and stuff like that there. I have to learn it by trial and error, YouTube videos or by, you know, a lifeline reaching out to somebody and saying, how do you do this? And sometimes people don't want to help you. Sometimes they do. Thankfully, there's a few people out there that's really, really helped me out and understand stuff. And I kind of understand the lingo that they're using because of uh, being able and watching these YouTube videos and stuff. I mean, craziness, the lingo. I mean, I use lingo all the time for my army days. So, but, you know, I've been doing cards since uh, 1984, Mattingly's rookie year. Uh, been a long time. Been off and on for different parts due to either deployments or, you know, stuff like that that went on. Uh, where I was gone for a year, I might have bought a bunch of stuff and just never opened it or whatever it may be. So, been in and out for a while. Uh, like I said, mostly my out time is because, hey, you know, I was gone for six months here, a year here, 13 months here. But that's where I kind of called it where I really was in it, but I was still buying stuff. I've got to see car prices go up, down, bottom out, oh, way overproduced, and then back to this whole bubble mess that went on out there. So, seen a lot through years, seen a lot through different grading companies. Heck, I even remember watching uh, Kenny Golden's little QBC special thing when I was in junior and senior high. So, a long time when you start seeing that stuff. You start feeling real old at the time. But I wanted to give, in case you're new to the channel, a little bit of background stuff on to me. It's something I don't really do much. I don't like talking about myself, I guess. But give you guys a little bit of background. I was also a breaker for a while from like 2000. I want to say end of 2016. No. Let me think about this. 15, I retired. Yeah, 2016 to about 2020, maybe early 2021. I might have still messed with it a little bit as a breaker. Stopped just because I saw things going Bad, bad. And the amount of money they want you to dump in just to get um, allocated cases saying, you'll, you'll make your money here, but yeah, I got to spend what I make here. It made no sense. No matter how they wanted to wish wash it, I just couldn't really get into it anymore. Uh, still setting up a show, stuff like that going to them. I think that's still the best course in fine cards. Other, even uh, better than the internet because you get to see them in person, the condition of them. But all right, let's get into what we're here for, the video stuff, video stuff. So first off bat, just give my my big, huge disclaimer. No way do I consider myself an influencer out there. I don't want to be linked with being an influencer. So anything you see me in future videos doing is just for my pure, I guess you could say entertainment. You guys watching to see if I'm going to, you know, make money, lose money on, you know, what I buy to show to grade out, stuff like that there. I don't want anybody thinking it's like, you, the term, I guess, investment advice is coming from me. Don't copy what I do. <laughs> Trust me, because I would be the first person who would feel horrible if somebody went out there doing what I did on an investment and lose their money. It'd be bad. I still got money to play around with from the bubble, and I could afford to, you know, I don't want to say afford, but I could take the loss off of it and be like, I'd still be upset because I lost the money, but I'm like, well, it kind of came because Lucas Silver Prisms were at 7000 when I sold this, and Oh, I had like $100 in a card. So, please don't do anything. Think that this is going to be any kind of influencer stuff where I'm hyping up PMGs and Metal Universe and all this other stuff. It's just going to be what I'm doing. I like doing, seeing if I can, you know, make a couple extra bucks here. Because, like I said, about 10 years, I think it'll be the end of me with sports cards, possibly to an extent of being more involved into it at that time frame i plan on dwindling my collection big time maybe down to about 20 pieces maybe still talking about sports cards maybe still doing a box opening here or there but age 55 to be honest i think i'm gonna enjoy my second retirement and actually not work work um we'll see how that turns out 
I'll probably turn back to this video in 10 years and laugh like, yeah, you're an idiot. I can't believe you said that. You're still doing this stuff. You never know. Things always change, though, out there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so video-wise, still going to do the scam videos, still going to do stuff on trim cards, fake cards, fake autographs, stuff like that there. I've hit so much about that stuff, and I think as the bubble of uh, the sports car world has shrunk, I think that that knowledge is generally out there and people can research it because they know how to go and search for YouTube videos onto it. But I think anything new we'll, I will end up uh, talking about and stuff. Or if I find something cool on some older stuff, we'll hit up. Maybe a refresher video here or there where to go look at for a high price. Uh, you know, swapped out cards, trim cards off a website, stuff like that. But don't think I'm giving up on that, so we're still going to be doing it. It's just I want to hit some different avenues uh, in 2023 with the videos that I haven't hit before. So, real quick, because I know I've done this video like three times, I had to change it around because I keep forgetting to do one piece. And I've actually put a big circle here saying make sure I actually click this button this time. Uh, we're still going to do the week oh, hobby news. That's why I want to hit hobby news. Those are going to be like a weekly video. So as you guys can see, is it that way? That way. Boom. Right up there. We're going to do something with a situation like this instead of always popping out. Let's just something hot and fresh. Like, oh my gosh, this guy just scammed so-and-so in a break, whatever it may be. That'll be something to be fresh pop up. I don't want to just make videos to make videos type deal. Kind of get like video burnout onto it. If we can cram it all into one for like a 20, 25 minute video, we're going to do that. Especially with hobby news, unless it's something hot like, hey, oh my gosh, Fanatic just bought Panini. But when we're talking about like Aaron Judge's 61st home run ball and stuff like that, we're just going to put that all into one video. So hopefully that makes sense. Now you will see more YouTube shorts coming up. It might be from my old, old, old videos, which you all can laugh at. When I was a breaker and stuff. I'm trying to learn YouTube shorts a little better. You guys got a little pace to that. Um, depending on when I post, it's either earlier today or yesterday. But that's just me messing around. You guys are going to see stuff like that. I'm trying different things to, uh, you know, get out there and try to pull more people onto the channel and stuff like that there. So the older videos with the... Stuff we've talked about, shill bidding and everything, how to check your PSA grades early, the eBay block list, that stuff resurfaces and people can refresh themselves onto it. Or if they never see it before, they'll be like, wow, I never knew this. Now they know something different. Hopefully that makes sense. It's all dealing with this YouTube algorithm I've been trying to break now for, I don't know, five years, something like that. Uh, Again, like I said, I don't want to make videos just to make videos. If you guys want to know, I am reading off a little script. It's front and back here. So, just so you guys are track, I have to look down, make sure I know where I'm at and stuff. But yeah, again, you're not going to see any kind of influencer stuff on to me. Um, there's not going to be like, oh, cool. I may get overly excited in some videos just to see how well it takes and goes. But you guys know pretty much through the years after doing all the yelling and stuff that I've done through my time in the military, I'm kind of on to I do get a little bit crazy when I pull something big or see something like that. But I don't think you're going to get like the weird reactions like, oh. And stuff like that out there. Because I just think that's the goofiest thing ever. Hey, maybe that's what made people click on people's videos. I have no idea. Alright, so. Next piece I want to hit on to is. I want to start doing twice a year. Either a bigger video or a video series. So the one that we're going to do ending in 2022. Is going to start December 30th. What it's going to be is I'm going to go on whatnot. I have not set the limit of what I'm going to have to spend. And by goodness, I hate doing videos like that there. And let me tell you, I probably, I, what was the total? It's written down here. 31. I scrapped 31 videos last year that you guys did not get to see because I wanted to do a cool spending challenge of $1,000 a show because that was like the cool thing in videos at the time frame. And guess what? I spent 150 because the show sucked. It would have just been pointless to do that. I mean, I probably could end it like this was the worst show ever. I couldn't, because I don't want to have to sit there and feel like I have to spend money at a show that has nothing there. No quality that I could use. It's overpriced and stuff. But what I want to do with the whatnot thing is I stay live until I hit, whether it takes two hours, 10 hours, 24, 48 hours. We're going to keep going. And what I'm going to do is need some help from you guys that are whatnot experts. Be like, dude, you need to get in this channel. It'll all be live streamed through YouTube. I, please, I don't want anything. We do stuff like this 
don't go on a whatnot raid to do and stuff like that because I don't want to get like shut down or whatever they do on stuff like that. But I want to be able to go on and we'll have some fun with it. And remember, because you guys might see stuff that guys have, and I want to use it for some of the stuff. I'd probably say probably about eighty percent of it we're gonna buy is to use as giveaways either to like kids at shows again. Uh, because I've totally I I gotta start when I start doing giveaways to kids. I gotta make sure the parents are like cool with it and do videos. So I've given away three things this year, and there were no parents there. And I didn't want to like tape some like ten year old, twelve year old kid that came to my table. I'm like, oh, your mom and dad here. Oh, they dropped me off. They'll be back in two hours. And I'm like, ah, oh, he's so polite and stuff. I give him a box of cards. You just don't want to do a video without parental consent of a 12-year-old kid. Tell me if I'm wrong, man. Doesn't that just sound creepy if somebody doing that? I mean, even though it's just me giving a guy, kid a box of cards. But that was part of my videos that were scrapped, by the way. But, um, yeah, it'll be cards like that used for that stuff there down the road. The series thing, I'm looking at doing uh, somewhere next year is hitting one of the bigger shows. It could just be the monster that I go to. I don't know if I want to fly to Dallas, so I'm going to go to Chantilly, the National. And, you know, maybe buy something like $1,000, $2,000 in raw cards. We'll come back, look them over with a scope and a video, or maybe videos. Determine where we set them, PSA, SGC. Get them graded. Maybe send some off to DC Sports. The other ones we sell at shows. Keep a running total. See what the profit is, the losses on it, all that stuff across the board. But I think it'd be kind of a fun series, something like that there. Man, my throat is dry. Sorry, guys. Um, Like I said, this is the third time doing this video. So I want to come up with something like that that's more of like a bigger thing, bigger series, stuff like that there. Somebody told me I should have done like a we call it a, uh, like a, hmm, I don't know how you, how they said it, but it's where I would like do all these giveaways across like the whole year, that little segment, put them all together into one video, like a collage or something. I don't know how, what you call it, but, and that would be like, Hey, we did, you know, $10,000 of giveaways to kids this year and just shoot it all right out. I don't know. I mean, it's a good idea, but you know, I, I don't know. It's hard, let me tell you, to, to be able to get a kid on a video. I might be able to get a picture or something like that. But I just feel weird asking parents, okay, if I use this for my video or my, can I take a picture of this for my channel? I mean, I guess they probably know it's real because I do have like a tablecloth and all this stuff. I don't know. You guys tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe, it, maybe it's not weird now in this day and age to ask that stuff. All right. So that's that's the big thing there is doing two a year. The, like I said, this year, December 30th, I don't know the time, I'll have a start time, probably like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Eastern. And hopefully we fi finish it before New Year's Eve, but if not, we'll be celebrating New Year's Eve together as we're still on whatnot, and I'm toasting away. Probably be one time of year you might see me actually drink alcohol on stream. Okay, point number... Okay, the other thing I want to hit up is... Uh... You guys know there's no like extreme card team out there just me myself and i have people would help me out uh when i first started i did have a marketing team stuff like that there so everything i do the videos the two recordings all that stuff it's all done by me so it's all my time going into this there's no like i'm sending this stuff out to be done by a third party because if i did it'd be a lot better quality and that's what i'm trying to do this year is giving better quality videos Along with thumbnails, I know my thumbnails are horrible, so I'm going to work on that this year. First the videos, then we'll hit the thumbnail up probably towards the end of the year. Somehow make a better thumbnail. Don't know, I'm just not real good at it. Maybe there's some kind of special program I'm just missing. I just use PowerPoint and save to JPEG. Am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me. Uh, okay, point number five. Overtime. Overtime will still be going on Friday nights. I encourage more people to come on, jump in onto overtime. All you gotta do is let me know, send me an email, message, whatever. I'll send you the link. You just make yourself a free Zoom account. You come right in. It's free. It's all through my paid service onto Zoom. With that, you come in, chit chat with whoever's on, uh, talk about whatever. You know, it's just a time to really relax, uh, learn stuff. I learned a lot about soccer this weekend, more than I probably have learned in two years of opening up soccer cards. So, pretty cool to sit there and have somebody explain something to you to where it makes more sense and stuff. 
especially with the soccer market, how it went completely crazy out there, and it was crazy to begin with. And to me, like I said in o- overtime on Friday, I think hockey and soccer boxes are relatively decently priced for what you can get out of it, grade it, and sell as. Not saying go buy the stuff, because trust me, there's a lot of boxes in those. I wouldn't buy no sports either. All right. That was five, six. All right, so everybody knows I don't like doing sponsorships and brand deals at all. It doesn't make logical sense. We hear a little bit about this on overtime. So with that being said, basically, what I may start doing them in a way that makes sense. And my example was this. if I always use BCW products. So if BCW is like, hey, you know, we want you to put a BCW ad in your video and they want to pay any money, we're going to do it for 15 seconds. Sorry, guys, but I mean, with that there, it helps upgrade equipment and stuff like that there. So don't be surprised if you maybe see a sponsored video or sponsored videos this next year or late this year. But it has to make perfect sense before I do it. I have no problem if you're a supporter of the channel and you reach out want me to critique, whether good or bad, your product. 100% always do those. You guys know that off the bat. But as far as like a paid video... Um, like where they have the video ad, it clips in like, and this video is sponsored by Blah, you know, and then the video plays for 15 seconds or they do their homemade thing. You may see it, uh, but it would have to make sense. It's like one of the products I use, whether it's that uh, uh, no CT boxes, the BCW. I mean, I really wouldn't want to do a grading company because I use, you know, multiple grading companies and stuff like that. But it would have to make sense of a product that I use. Uh, the one exception is I've been talking to this NFT company, which we talked a little bit about Friday. And I know a little bit about NFTs. I know they run a couple different ways where there's fractional. And there's one where you could actually just win the, like a card outright on uh, was it block packs. So I, I told them I would uh, do it throughout my piece on it. But I wanted to come on like something with a Zoom where we go live and talk about you guys could ask questions because... I'm not really into NFTs, to be honest. Maybe other people are out there to watch the channel and getting to see some of the behind the things and talking like that. You know, maybe it'll help educate out there on the stuff. Maybe we're all missing something that don't like them. But be aware that might be in, uh, in the works once they get their website up and stuff like that there. Be a first time thing. But it's not going to be like something all the time it's going to be going on. Let's see. All right. Two last things. One, if you guys got video ideas out there you'd like to see me do or like me to try and do, just either leave a comment here, send me an email. If all of a sudden you're like, hey, this would be cool if you did something like this and it's just something you brainstorm, send it to me. I might be able to be thinking something like, hey, I could do something like this. this if you th- if you want to see it, maybe other people want to see it. Because remember... I'm an older guy, so I mean, a lot of the stuff that, you know, people in their teens, 20s, maybe maybe even 30s want to see, I just don't do because I think it's, you know, outdated for me. It might be the thing to do. I don't know. But that there. So what I want to show you guys, so we're on OBS right now. This is the last thing. I always forgot in the last two times to show this. So the what back to the whatnot thing end of this year. So you guys are going to see this here. So, I thought I had it on here. I guess I don't. Oh, okay. It'll be this here. I, I know where I put it at now. So, this is the limit, is not what it is $1,000. That shows what it spent, my logo. And then you got myself up there. And on this blank spot over here will be where the uh, whatnot's at. Still working that piece. And what it will look like, I'm going to go back here. Where are we hiding at this one? So you guys will see something like this all unmuted so you guys can hear. I was hoping the pads could pull it off, honestly. You guys will get to see whatever's on there beautiful. and stuff. If you guys beautiful want the chat card. on the far right side, I'll put it off. on there too. Julian Blackman and a tour. All right. I'll leave it up there for a second. I don't even know who this person is, so sorry. I just hijacked your video onto my stuff. But we can put the chat because it's coming off my computer on here too if you guys want to see what the chat stuff is and stuff like that. 
up to you guys what you want to do, but it'll look something similar with that piece there, but on the other scene. Yes, there's scenes on these. I didn't know there was such thing. All right, we're going to pull that down. All right, so something a little bit different just to show you where I've been working, trying to figure this stuff out. There, yesterday I spent, what was it, about 11 a.m. till about 5 until uh, Cora from Discord. I'm like, dude, I can't figure this out for the life of me. Spent about an hour and a half, maybe two hours with me, and he gained way more knowledge than what I would have gotten from these YouTube videos and articles I was reading out there. So thankful for him. Thankful for a lot of other people who have helped me out through the years with all the you know, technology stuff because, trust me, not the smartest person, but if you show me and I ask questions to where I can understand it, I'm good. Especially when you... I understood because he was like, you understand what I'm like? Yeah, I got that terminology, actually, you know? I was kind of proud of myself. I'm like, yes, I understand. I know what you're talking about. He would ask me that a year, maybe two years ago. I'd been like, oh, I'm so lost, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> but... Let's see. I want to make sure I covered everything across the board here. Yep, yep, yep. Check, 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 check. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what's going to be going on through the ending of 2022. There's not much card shows. I think three more I'm set up at between now and the end of the year. I might hit up, like, two more. We got the monster coming up this Friday. The intent, that's why I'm not putting it out there, is I'm going to go up there to buy some cards to grade. I don't know how much it is. I have an idea of like what I don't want to go over and cap, but if I come out there and say I'm spending $1,000, I'm just throwing a number out. I will say $500 in raw cards to grade. And I only find 200 I don't make what I sell when doing the video. So I think what I'm going to do is do all the footage up there, then come back and put the video together and be like, I'm going to the monster, even though I just went up there type deal. I'm going to spend this amount of money. Look, I did it. Because otherwise, I scrapped the videos like the other 31 I did. So, not trying to mislead you guys. My intent's there. It's that the actual goal is not. Maybe that's how everybody else does it, or they force themselves to hit those goals, and I don't want to do that at all. Uh, but I'm thinking there's going to be about three different videos for the monster. One's going to be like the best card I could pick up up there for X amount of money. Right now it's $200. Um, but I might find something that's more valuable and I can get better and it'll be the best card I've found for $400 up here. You know. Uh, the raw card piece will be on there. I gotta pick up a couple raw cards that are actually, that's what part of the raw card thing is. Uh, looking for a raw Jim Brown, uh, Walter Payton, maybe another OJ rookie. I want to get a few of them so I can grade them out, and then we're going to use those also for the gridiron stuff. Plus, anything else I can find raw that might do well in grading. And then, of course, you'll get the monster itself video up there. So I think I can squeak three videos into one, hopefully. We'll find out. That'll be the fun part. Hopefully the SD card works. Otherwise, we're going to be going off of phone stuff up there. Ooh, let's see. Yep, I think I hit everything else on here, buddy. So again, I appreciate y'all sticking with me this long. I know it's a longer video, over 20 minutes. But I want everybody that's new, because we did get about, oh, since I did this, at least about five, 600 new people on there that are actually coming on and commenting a lot. So you kind of get a feel for me and everything out there. At the same time frame, you guys know what's going on through the end of the year and then through next year. A lot better videos, stuff like that. And look, just like this, with the screen you guys have been sitting at, it says Hobby News. On that left-hand side, we're going to post up whatever we're doing onto it, you know, flash up, stuff like that. Some of the videos look better, you know, across the board and stuff. I don't have a big, huge production team, nor uh, going to have a big, huge production team out there where I'm going to have, like, three different cameras going around me at all time frames, acting as if I'm, like, a celebrity off of Beverly Hills 90210. Uh, again... Please don't, whatever these future videos come out where I start spending some money and talking about and stuff, it's not an investment thing. It's me just doing me, showing what I do a little bit more now because there's still a lot of risk out there, but it's not like the risk there was over a year, year and a half ago. And I said, this stuff's going to bust and bust hard. That's why I stopped showing a lot of what I was picking up in prices. But all right, guys, appreciate you guys sticking with me through the video. Have a good evening, and I will catch you guys next video.